Hey everyone, Sarah Terman here again. And today we continue with OPO4 and we're moving on to Queen. So Queen is one of the new leaders of the new set and she and Queen is a yellow blue leader, which means that we get to play a lot of triggers. Now, it ends up being really, really fun because you end up having a lot of value and you end up being able to play all these big nine, seven, eight drops and the Yamato just ends up being so fun. So hope you enjoy the game coming up soon. This time we're going to go against Do Flamingo. So if you like today's game, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy the two games. In this matchup, we're going against Do Flamingo. So Queen versus Do Flamingo. Ah, okay, so the 10 drop and they're going to have a bunch of block. So 10 drop and a bunch of blockers. Uh, the opponent chose to go second. So we do have the turn three play. And we have this at nine. I guess I'll keep. I guess I'll keep this just because I do have this the flamingo. I do have the flamingo, so it lets me kind of set up my turn. Hmm. Sure, let's just go ahead and push the five. Let's go ahead and push this five. Let's go here. How do I want to do this? So next time we are five down, this red rock is going to be so good later on. Next time we are five down, um, nothing really that I want to play here. So five, we can get this at seven, nine. Okay, so. Let's put Karakuri in the bottom. Oh, wait, I need to. <laughs> they changed the way that it works now, right? So I want to draw this, then this. Uh, let's go like this. Let's see if I did that the right way. I haven't I haven't really ordered the cards before on this on the new version of the sim. I used to like it better when it was like one at a time, right? Yeah, so the opponent can go ahead and kill this the flamingo. Uh the bad thing here always is that you're always gonna be able to rest like one of my units. The good thing is that you didn't need to kill this. We can just play this uh okay so i did i did order them the wrong way right so we can just go like this start placing on the top actually no i did order them the right way right no no, no i need to order the other way so i need to have this nets this nets katakuri i guess we can have a second let's go like this they have to actually even if they don't rest the perona they have to rest the sugar no matter what which allows me to be able to kill this sugar. Let's go to uh, let's go to sits just in case that the opponent has an event. Like th that's the thing about the sugar. Like they're forced to use it even if they don't want to, which ends up being pretty good for us. So we can go here with a pound, pass the turn. We're not able to use this queen ability for a while, right? So we're not able to use this queen ability for a while. Let's uh, let's counter this one. Queen, okay. Next time we have the Usa, right? They actually trashed the first Dolphy, huh? Yeah, so we can go like this. Ah, uh, we can trash this. Sanji. Why don't we just trash both blockers, right? Why don't we just go like this? Next stone, we can play this uh, Yamato. We can kill anything that sits cost or less. If the opponent counters this, then we can kill a seven cost. Okay, this is perfect. Problem is, like, okay, I'm gonna have to take this life so I can only kill something that sits. Okay, perfect. So we can still kill this uh, this queen with the Yamato. And then we'll have these big units on the field that the opponent's gonna have a hard time dealing with. And that's kind of what we wanna get at. Uh, they get rid of the second Dolphy. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Uh, yeah, let's just go like this. Boom. We'll go five again, and then we'll go six with the Usopp, with the Sosh, Soshkin. I was going to say Usopp. I guess it is Usopp, but, you know, let, let's pretend it's not Usopp, it's Soshkin. 
Uh, we'll attack it again. We can always block with the pound. If we need to. Force the 2k counter out of the opponent. Okay. We'll pass the turn. We have this Katakuri. We have this Sojkin. We have the Red Rock, right? Which is going to be important and getting rid of their blockers. This can bounce back something that sits cost. We can also go for the 1k here, or we can just play this pound. Right? We can just block with the pound, and I think that's fine. Yeah, let's just block with the pound here. Uh, no targets, right? So this is their Luffy, right? That is their Luffy. So the opponent gets the Luffy. We could Red Rock that Luffy. So we could Red Rock that Luffy. And then we just have to deal with the... Uh, with the Uta. So we Red Rock the Luffy. That's going to be six. It's going to be six. Done. Yeah, so we just go like this. The problem with doing that is that we, we cannot Red Rock at Dolphy. If we attack here with everything, opponent's just going to have Dolphy next turn. But if they only have a Dolphy next turn, I think I'm also not opposed to that. Ooh, we have seven cards, so we still cannot use this. So this is seven. I guess let's go seven. Let's go seven here. I might actually choose to keep this Yamato um, active. No, I think I need to force him. I need to force him to take this life. I need to force him to. I need to. I need to force him to block. I think. I think I need to force him to block, regardless. Even if they have the Tenkos Dofi, they got rid of two Dofis last turn, right? Even if they have this Tenkos Dofi. I guess let's go like this. Let's go like this, see what happens. They're going to block it now. So they can rest the Perona. Wait, so they just... Okay, so they don't have the Dofi. They, they don't have the Dofi next turn then, right? So they no longer have the, this Dofi. So we can just attack their leader. If they take this last life, we don't care about the Uta because we can always bounce her back. Okay, that's why they did it because they could get that. They could get that back. So, so now they play the Dofi, right? Now you get play the tank cost Dofi. My gas cannot be restanded. Yeah, that's what they're going for. They go, here goes the ten k. Right, you freeze everything. Cool. That that that's gonna buy you a lot of time, right? So that is gonna buy you a lot of time. Um. We can go ahead and play this Uso. So we can play this Uso into the Uta. Force the opponent to have to use her again later. I think I trash one Katakuri. And I can easily trash... I think the Beige or the, or the, or the Kaya, right? Because this Mihawk is going to be so good at their Luffy. Opponent, this is their third Dofi, so I'm not scared of other Dofis coming down. Maybe we actually just pop. Maybe we actually pop the Katakuri. Maybe we pop the second Katakuri and keep the counters to be able to save my Yamato against the attack from this Dofi. Like maybe it's better for me to keep these counters and we can use of the counters and be able to get the Queen ability going forward. We know the opponent has the Uta in their hand, but again, we just want to have these big guys in the field. Like, if you go like this, so if we let this one die, if we use all our counters right now, if opponent has the fourth 10 drop, they can still kill this Uso. This will be a four down commitment to kill the Yamato. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let them kill the Uso, so they don't have another Doflamingo. They get the Uta again, which again is, is expected. But this is kind of what we were waiting for. So we can go like this, bottom deck the second Luffy. Uh, we have four cards here. And I can actually just put another card on the top of my life. So six. Uh, so we'll go like this. 
Do I want to gain the life or draw the card? I mean, at this point, I think I'd rather just draw the card, right? Because the opponent's probably going to just try to actually kill my, my units. I'm not going to play around them having a second, um, a third Dofi. Like, if they have the third Dofi, they have the third Dofi. At the fourth Dofi, because they already showed us two. They already showed us two. This is number three. If they have the fourth one, they have the fourth one. And then we attack with Yamato. We can use the Perona as a counter if we need to. This Sochkin is so good just because it lets you fix your hand. And like you see, we keep like trashing stuff, right? All right. So we'll go like this again. You give me the, you give me the Uta. Are you going to save her? They don't save her. We continue getting rid of their blockers and we should be okay. Opponent can at most kill two of these. We, we, again, it would have been nice to use that Red Rock on the Doflamingo when we had the chance, but that, I mean, it's fine. We'll let them have it. The reason that I'm going to continue to draw with the Queen is because opponent is obviously showing us that, uh, that they're going to get rid of my board instead. Wait, 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 you can't do that. I guess they have four, they have four events. Uh, they have, they have two events, right? Potentially. So they potentially have access to two events here. So they can go up to 9 and 13, let's say. So we can go 9, 11, 11, 13. So we can go 11 and 13. I'm forcing to actually have the two events, right? So we can go 3, 11. Let's go for this big 11 hit right here. Just eat up all their counters right now. Okay. Even if I even if I technically will lose my board next turn, I think I want to eat up all their stuff right now. Or is it ever better? So the opponent will have to have both a spider web and probably a Pong Gibson. They showed us Thunder Bagu that also gets them there. If I attack with this Mihawk, opponent will still have access to. I want, I want, I want, I want the life to get hit. What if I just don't attack? What if I just don't attack? Opponent will still have those two events. If I attack right now and I lose that Mihawk, it might be a problem. No, let's go for it. Let's force the two events out of them. Let's force the two events out of them right now. So Punk Gibson, Spiderweb, plus a 2K. They don't have it. Okay. Yeah, we just got to go for it. Because if they if they actually do have it, then we at least eat it up right now, right? Um, I'm good going first. Oh, they can defend. All right. So they, they could have, they were able to defend. I still think we go for it, because if they use both events there, they have to use three cards, right? They have to use three cards there. Um, hmm. Let's mulligan this hand. They have to use three cards there, right? So they will have to use three cards there to defend that, including two events. And even if they can kill the Mihawk next turn, we still have three life, and we still have the Queen ability to get additional life every single turn. So I don't think I'm, even, I'm ever in a position where I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to be struggling, right? So, I think that was fine. Uh, we'll go like this. Just attack for seven. Play this Perona. This Mihawk is good. So, next time we have five. We have this. Okay, so next time we have five. Um, so, we want to have this one at the top. This one second. This one third. And then the other two later. Even, okay, so if opponent told us, my bad, he could have defended. Even if he could have defended um, with the two events, again, I think I've been in a really good position where I don't need to worry about that as much. I, I would have been in a really good position even if they killed the, the Mihawk. Mm, so we can play the Pound. Oh, 
Or we can play this blocker. I guess the pan is also a blocker, right? So let's go seven again. Let's go seven here. Take their second life. Because the, the thing about this queen deck that is so useful is that we have all these big units, right? So like next time we get to play our Soch King. Then we're going to get to play Yamato. Then we're going to have the Thousand Swords and the Gun Gun uh, Red Rocks to be able to kind of bounce back any of the opponent's blockers. So, like, opponent's going to have a hard time, like, really. It, it sucks that we don't have... You know what? Let's resolve this and just put this at the uh, top of their life or bottom, I guess, so that we know exactly what it is. I want to do this now. I want to do this like this. I know I'm giving them an extra life, but I don't want to use my cards just yet. And that enables this uh, this Yamato to actually be able to bounce stuff back. Regardless, though, we're not going to play Yamato. We're just going to go five here and play the Sochkin. Get back the Guilty Sword to the hand. Like, this matchup is absolutely bad for the opponent. Just because I can continue doing this stuff here. We get our Mihawk. We get the Sanji. I think we, don't, I think we can get rid of the Katakuri and... Maybe one of the thousands, thousand worlds, or one of the boa Hancocks, right? Like, hmm. Let's get rid of the Sanji. Let's get rid of the Sanji. I think this thousand worlds are gonna be. It's gonna be so good, right? We'll go. We'll block for the one k. This is to make this Yamato able to kill a six drop. So if the opponent plays, I, I guess opponent will play the Luffy here though, which is kind of annoying. But I could technically kill the, any any other blocker with the Yamato. Yeah, so we can kill the Uta here with the Yamato. So this is set, so unfortunately. Yeah, so this is only going to be set. Uh, we could just go for the Mihawk instead. I'm not opposed to just Mihawk, right? Probably Yamato is the best option, though. Because if I go, if, if I leave this alive, opponent doesn't, no, I think it has to be Mihawk, right? Or we can go, yeah, no, let's just go for the Mihawk. Let's just go for the Mihawk, go like this. Attack for five here. Attack for six. Because at, at least, at least the Luffy doesn't get the free blocks. If I go for the Yamato, the Luffy could just block this attacks and not have to worry about it. At least this way, the Uta still gets punished. She can still die to the Yamato next turn as well. Uh, I am kind of running low on these big units. We have all these events and nothing to do, uh, nothing to use them with just yet. So even if they have the, even if they have the Doflamingo here, I'm okay with that, right? Like, this Doflamingo makes... We know they have a Guilty Soul in their hand because we bounced it back with Sochkin. So, they kind of have, like, a dead card. Oh, they decided to just pop that Sochkin. Okay, wow. So, it's Guilty Soul, right? I'm going to tell, tell you a secret. You never want to have this Guilty Soul stay on the field and actually let the opponent draw so much. So, you don't want the opponent to draw with Guilty Soul. So, I think we just go ahead and pop it now. Um... We can go ahead and pop attack for five, I guess, or we can go six and then and then ten, or we can go six and then nine. We can go like this. We can go six, force a two K, and then go nine. Okay, then go nine here. All right. So now they are down to their last life, which is Barto. As long as I'm only attacking with two units and I always have another big unit to follow up, the Doflamingo is not as good as it could be for them. So... There's a lot of good triggers that we could get here. And there we go. So there's a lot of good triggers that we can get here. Let's get rid of 1,000 swords. There's their Dofi, so they freeze this too. Again, just what I expected. But now the opponent is going to have to have a second Dofi to follow up with. Because we can bounce back this Uta. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't we just go Red Rock and Thousand Swords? And Thousand Worlds, sorry. Like, why don't we just go like this? 
And then we just attack for nine here. Now, if the opponent has another Dolphy, they get to survive. And they get to rest all my stuff. From Gibson. All right. So they could have the second Dolphy here, and they just got rid of my blocker as well. So the second Dolphy means that they actually cannot kill this blocker, right? Yeah, that we can just counter out of this one. And next up, we can use the Queen ability. Yeah, so they go for the second Dolphy. The, the problem that they're having is that even though they have the second Dolphy, it's not really going to matter. I think I actually rather just have the draw here. I don't want to bounce back this one of step. Uh, I, I guess I don't have to bounce it back, right? I don't have to bounce it back. I do want to play the Soch King. That way I can use the Queen ability. So we go seven here. Choose no targets. Let's... Um, I want to keep my 2Ks. Let's go trash the Perona, trash the Boa. And then here we can go for eight. Because opponent decided to rest the Sanji instead of anything else. If I go for eight, opponent could still have like a nice event to follow up this attack. If I go for five, opponent plays a 1K. Like I definitely want to use the, the Queen ability, right? So we go like this and just uh honestly let's uh let's draw the card right let's draw the card that gives me another Yamato. opponent just goes punk gibson or thunder bagua in this case we pass do they have the third dofi do they have the third dofi here to rest my units again we have three t three counters worth yeah so this tells me that they have another dofi the fact that they put no down here tells me that they have another dofi but the problem is that the Sochkin will still be active. Opponent will have to rest this queen. Okay, so they, they're gonna go third Dolphy, right? Boom, boom, boom. We still have this, we still have this Sochkin. We can even play this Yamato to kill the Buena Fiesta. Maybe it's actually better for me to have the blocker though. Maybe it's better for me to have the blocker. So we go for the blocker. Uh, this is going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's go for that 13 hit. Let's take that bar two out of the picture. So now we have, opponent needs to have the fourth Dolphy. They need to have the fourth Dolphy to be able to actually stop this lethal next turn. The blocker gives me some value. We don't have a way to get rid of any of the other blockers though. We have a 2k counter that can technically save this Mihawk. The opponent puts no down on their Dolphys. Sure, that's the weakest one. So I think I'm fine letting the Sochkin die. And this whole time, we still have all this life, right? We still have all this life and can get more with the queen if we need to. Um, which is going to continue just putting pressure. We don't have another way to remove a blocker, though. That's, that's the only downside here. But the opponent has, like, the opponent has to kill these guys, right? Okay, so we just block here. Uh, yeah, we're not going to put that in the bot. We're not going to put that in the life if we don't need to. So now they have to commit the Dawn to try to kill Mihawk or Yamato, which is going to leave them with no Dawn for the blockers. It's the hard decision they have to make. If they play the Dawn, like they have to play four Dawn, actually, they have to go six Dawn, which is going to give them with just one Dawn open, which is not enough for any events because they haven't used any Dawn. This only sets Dawn that is rested as active. So if the opponent attaches everything to Dofi, they would not have enough Dawn to get there. So they're in a tough position because they actually cannot kill these units. They're going to go for life. This tells me that they probably have a blocker. If we take this life, 
and we get a way to get rid of their blockers no i'm gonna give you the 2k if for some reason i cannot kill them this turn if for some reason i cannot kill them this turn which is what it looks like right now i want to make sure that i can at least survive their swim back now the one problem here is that if i do go all in right now opponent has four done active they have one blocker and they could have two events to potentially survive this but we have two 9k attacks so we go 9 9 9 11 11 11 so we just go 11 every time right four five six so we go 11 here let's uh am i scared of dying here can the opponent kill me with their dofies Technically, they're cool, right? I mean, I has because they could go 10, 10. Let's gain that life. Let's gain the life. Because I'm not going to have blockers. So this is 11. So this is forcing one of the events plus at least another two. Like, if I just go 11, 11, 11, opponents shouldn't be able to survive this no matter how many cards they have. Because this first 11 hit is forcing out the blocker or forcing out the... Uh, the punk gibson but even the punk gibson is not enough okay so what they can do here is that they can actually go spider web okay well so it doesn't matter so we just again we just go 11 again so if we go 11 so 11 means that he's forcing one event and two more cards because the opponent needs to have an event 2k 1k and then the third 11 goes event and the opponent doesn't have enough so again we just go 11 three times and the opponent cannot defend this. So this is forcing an event. If you had the spider web, if you had the spider web, it actually was better. GG's. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to give them the rematch. This video is already long enough. Uh, but if you had the spider web, I wonder if it was better to try to save that Uta and give yourself another blockers. I, I still don't think that they can survive anyways. So... <laughs> yeah i think it's just a bad matchup because the problem is is i, I just continue playing these big nine ten drops and get rid of their blockers so but anyways yeah this is an example of what queen can do just continuously have these big threats get rid of the opponent's blockers and go from there so yeah hope you all enjoyed this first video of queen if you did Make sure that make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post one piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day.